What's good, it's your boy Tad Money, and today I'm going to talk about the royal, royal hand path, the path of silver magic. Now the royal, the, uh, royal hand path, the path of silver magic, is basically about wealth. And when it comes down to uh, rivals between paths and stuff, just like the left hand uh, rivals the right hand, you know, the, the royal hand path uh, is a rival to the wealth hand path. You know, gold and silver, gold and silver. Because, you know, gold and silver equals wealth and power. And it's just wealth, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about power, but yeah, you have power when it comes to the wealth, but just wealth alone. But the royal hand path, you know, you get treated like royalty. You know, you treat yourself like royalty. And when it comes to platinum, platinum or, or anything like that, you know, uh, the Warrior Hand Path deals with platinum uh, way of look. Because I know platinum is, I don't know if it's a color or not, but I know it's a jewelry form. But the Warrior Hand Path is all about royalty. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty, then royalty. But it's a path for loyalty, though, so I can't say loyalty, but royalty, you know. You become royal to yourself, royal to the astral realms, and all of these paths equals metaphysics. You know what I'm saying? It's all metaphysical, and you take it in the spirit form, not in the physical form and the fleshly form that you is. So royalty, you know, if you worship wealth and stuff, is royalty. Now the poor hand path is basically rivals to these two because the poor hand path is all about poorness and living in the poor and embracing the poor these paths are basically what you want to embrace what you want to embrace always and what you want to embrace so in these what these paths are all about is embracing what what they represent the most and what they are about the most and that's what's really what's important and what's really exciting about you know, creating these colorful sorcery paths because these colors will define the path itself, but also will define you, uh, whatever lifestyle you choose to live, or what hobby or material thing that you love. You know what I'm saying? These magical paths are all about that, and it's all about supporting that as well. So, so the royal hand path, the path of silver magic, is all about royalty and wealth. As the wealth hand path, the path of gold magic is the same thing. But these two paths are basically rivals of, besides the poor hand path. So these, so now these color sorcery paths, they become rivals to each other by the way they represent and knowing that their path is better than that path. And that's what these magical paths is all about, being better than this and better than that. So that's what it really comes down to. So the royal hand path, the path of silver magic, is basically all about royalty.